Okay, hello everyone, welcome back to the new week. So in the last week, we have finished a section on the query processing already. If you still remember, we introduced different operators, and then we also mentioned how to implement them with both one parse, two parse, and multi parse algorithms, right? And you can go over these materials carefully because many of the materials will be covered in the final exam as well. So you need to know this material very well. And this week, we will move to a new section on the query optimization. So we know once we have a query coming into the system, the system will have a compiler to compile this kind of queries in SQL to some language or some logical plans for execution. However, for I mean, among different our choices of the logical plans, we need to find a better one, right? So given one query input, right, we can have different logical plans. Then the target for this section is focused on finding a better logical plan, which can I mean, reduce the query processing both time and as well as IO cost um, as much as possible. So in this week, we'll move to the query optimization. And we will introduce different kinds of methods and algorithms we can use for dealing with the queries and to optimize them into better logical plans instead. And besides the query optimization, we still have one more section left, which is the data mining section. And so in the coming four weeks, we only have four weeks left, right? So in the coming four weeks, we plan to finish these two sections on query optimization as well as data, data mining. So at the very end, we also have one class on the final review for you. We will go over the materials we have covered in this course in the whole semester, which will be all be covered in the final exams. As to the formats of the final exam, we will mention later, right? We will introduce how to do the exams in this semester due to the pandemic. So, I mean, we only have four weeks left, so please schedule your time well on both finishing the homeworks as well as this project, so you don't need to rush at the very end, right? And also a reminder, I mean, in this week, by the Friday, we have two data nines. The first data nine is for the paper five review report, which will be due by this Friday midnight. And please read the paper five and also write the report, I mean, to summarize the paper contents uh, into a report. Besides this, we also have the study four of the project will be due by this Friday. We also need to have a report according to the project description, right? So please refer to the project description for the contents for writing the report for of the project. Besides the report, I think it's also the time for you to uh, finish the experiments and also start to write your uh, your paper for the project as well. Because I mean, the experiments as well as the paper writing may take some time, right? So please do this kinds of things as early as possible. So you have enough time left for, I mean, at the very end to go over the materials to prepare for the final exams. I mean, the project five will be in a state five will be due by the very last Friday of the lecturing weeks, right? I'm not sure for you, right? When, normally when I have some deadlines, I like to like, move the deadline one week forward. So like, I assume the deadline will be one week ahead of the final deadline. So I need to make sure everything can be finished by this Friday. Then you can have one week left, right? And you can use this week to polish the contents and also do some complementary reports writing as well as experiments for finish the report as well as the project, right? So don't, I mean, don't wait until the last week to write the papers, it will be very late. So uh, schedule time as early as possible and also do according to your schedules, I mean, to finish the project. And also we have just released a homework tool for you as well. This homework tool will cover both the query optimization as well as data mining. So I think by this Friday of the second last week, you'll be able to finish all the questions covered by the homework tool as well. But right now, I think you can take a look at the question covered in the homework tool and start to work on some of the materials and questions as we are posting that for these two sections. And also we have some changes to the schedule. Before we mentioned the students may need to do some presentations. However, in this semester due to the special case, I mean due to the pandemic and also we have a large class. Normally before I talk with the students who take this class before in the previous years, the size of the class is normally very small. However, in this semester we have a large class, so therefore I'd like to uh, remove the presentation for the students. And what you need to do is just to do a demo for your project at the very end and you can post your demo to, uh, to YouTube online and also share the link with the TA so the TA can watch your video, the demo videos as well as report to grade in your final project. And as to the detailed information, I will talk with the TA for, for the demo presentation as well as report for the project. All right, uh, so I mean, this is a schedule for the coming weeks. Schedule time as early as possible so you don't need to rush at the very end. 
Okay, so let's come to the new section on the query optimization in this week, which will be very interesting actually on optimizing the query execution logical planes.